This is a very brief demo of using the Mobisanti Mobius SP1 smartphone based ultrasonic imaging system. This is the opening screen where I select the operator. I'm going to do anonymous today. I'm not going to store any uh, patient or operator information. The, the main screen here allows me to enter patient or operator information if I choose to, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go to the exam tab. In the exam tab we have eight different types of ultrasound exams. These different types have presets that are appropriate for that type of an exam. For example, doing a AAA screening or fast exam, doing some vascular uh, work. Uh, quick scan in the upper left hand corner is a general purpose setting. If one of the other settings don't match something that you would are going to be doing at that time. Uh, there's also a visual exam in the lower right hand corner. This will use the camera on the phone as a way to take photographs of a patient in an area that you can store as a visual exam. I'm going to do a quick kidney scan today. So I'm going to select fast. Uh, I'm going to change the depth because I know that on me at a 15 centimeter depth I'll get a better image but it defaults to 20. So I'm going to change that. I can then do a scan. There's my kidney on the right side there. There's a button on the probe that I just pressed to stop the scan. Of course, when I did, I moved the probe a little bit. We're saving all the data here, so I can scroll back in time to find image that I like. And so here I see my kidney over here. I could do some adjustments on the image if I wanted to. I could adjust the intensity of the image or the contrast or I can even adjust the gain uh, of, of, the, uh, of the data. We have all the raw data stored on the phone. It's not a video stream uh, so I can do all the post-processing that I would like. I can also save this image. Uh, so if I wanted to save this frame, I click Save Frame. I've now saved that data. Uh, I could save the entire video stream by clicking on Save Video. You can save any number of the video streams and images that you want. So at this point I'll be done with my exam. I'm going to go back and review that. And you can see here I have uh, several exams that I've saved uh, previously. Uh, the most recent is always at the top. So that would be this one here. So you can see this is the image that I have just taken. Again, I've stored raw data so I can adjust the image and give myself some more contrast, maybe a little bit less intensity. Um, I could also add markup to the, to the image. You can do this in the scan screen as well, but I'm going to do it here. So there's this add markup button. I have several types of markup. The first would be adding an arrow. So I can take this arrow and I can drag it over. I could rotate it using the circles or just dragging it to get it to point to my kidney. Uh, I could take a measurement. So if I want to measure the inside here and see how large something is, that's 3.71 centimeters, it tells me up here. Uh, I could also add text. And with text completion, there's my kidney. Uh, I could actually move that around as well, so I can have that be my by the arrow. Okay. So when I'm done with my markup, I could save this image if I wanted to. By clicking Save Image, that will save the image to my exam. Uh, so now I have two files that are in my exam. I have the original, and I also have the marked up image. Uh, you can do a clear markup if you want to clear the markup and start over, and so on. So I'm, I'm done with that. Now I have the two images in my exam. So here's the first image that was un, not marked up and not adjusted. Here's the second image. Notice it also saves all the adjustments that I made to the, to the image. So if I'm done with that and I say, you know, I've got some good data here and I want to send it to somebody, then we can use the, the send icon. I, this has previously been set up with a, uh, an email address that the data from this exam will be sent to. This is sending raw data. So if our PC viewer used remotely can take all that data, do all the adjustments and all the markup that you'd like on it. We also have the ability to send a JPEG image of exactly what you see in, in the exam using, using this button.
So this is sending the data as we speak. There's an icon here that shows me that it's doing that. Uh, this will turn green, have a green check mark by it, uh, when the transmission is complete, and that lets me know that everything got sent. And I can go and I can send uh, any of these other exams that I'd like, and, and so on. So thanks for taking the time to watch this very brief demonstration of the Mobius SP-1 ultrasound system.